Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I wanted to show you because I had somebody comment in my comments that apparently they had not heard of or they questioned, I wasn't sure what they were, if they were asking me did I say bag balm and they weren't sure what bag balm was or maybe they were wondering if that's what I had said. I wasn't sure about it. But anyways, I have bag balm here. This is what this is what bag balm comes in. It's a pretty container and it says bag balm on it. Okay, now this one is empty. This one has been used. This one at the time we bought it was a long time ago. was $4.99. I'm sure it's not that anymore because the next time we bought it, it was $5.83. And this is pretty old, even though because you can see it's discolored. You can see where I dug out yesterday for the chicken. But um, I'm sure it costs a little more now. But the tin probably is the same. And this, believe it or not, was used, we used to use this when, when I lived on the farm. It was used for um, the udders on the cow is basically what we used it for. But we also used it on, if the mama cat had kittens and... I don't know if you've ever had kittens that had maggots, but yes, the flies sometimes lay them their eggs and that starts chewing up the little kitty. Well, we used to do a little bit of surgery on these poor little kittens to try to save their little lives, and we used to put bag balm on, and that would heal the sore. And if they had a sore on their foot or something, we'd put bag balm on it. If you fell down and got a scrape on your knee, we put bag balm on it. If whatever, and if your hands were real chapped, you could put bag balm on it. It's a greasy, it's a greasy feel, but it does heal. It heals really fast. Well, that's what I put on the chicken's crown. This is what I wanted to put on the chicken, but I didn't have it at the time. I'll show you. There's a Jim. Jim went on a motorcycle ride today. Yeah. He wanted to know if I wanted to go. No, thank you. My, I don't want to go. It's too cold. What was their temperature? <laughs> it was warm. It was a balmy 54 degrees. Oh, but, it's, but when you get on the back of the bike, you're going to freeze just the same. And so you gotta you got to cut that temperature in 10 degrees at least, especially if you're in the back. If you're in the front, you're getting the heat from the engine. And he always tells me, well, you know, you could drive. Well, I don't want to drive. I like to ride. Um, but anyways, blue coat is what it was that I put. I can put on the bird. And I did put it on her. Now, there's two different. We got He got me the two different ones. He got the one that looks like the old shoe polish. Remember the old shoe polish things? <laughs> the dauber. Or the dauber or whatever. But that's how the shoe polish used to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could polish a shoe with something like that. But um, she's really feisty today. So she not only has it on the top, she's got a nice streak down her back. And it's purple or blue, whatever. I don't know. And this one is a spray. It's a pump spray. I won't spray it because we'll be all blue. And I don't want to be blue. I'm so blue. See, that brings a song to my heart. <laughs> well, anyways, I won't sing it. <laughs> Much more than you'll ever know. I'm so blue. <laughs> okay, we're blue. Um, I don't know if you've heard that song or not, but it's, I don't even know what it... I, long time ago I heard it. Um, and then it would... To the girl with the bow in her hair, that was, um, or that always comes to mind. And then, she wore blue velvet. See, that's what blue brings. A lot of blue songs. But I don't feel blue. <laughs> okay, well, that's what I wanted to show you today. I wanted to show you the blue coat. Blue coat, K O T E. Not like the coat. C-O-A-T that we wear, but this is for the chickens. And I wanted to show you the bag balm because that's um, what I use because I didn't have anything else. If you don't have any bag balm, you could have put Vaseline on it. That helps too. You don't want to put Vicks on because Vicks has a hot, cold, hot, cold feeling. Oh, that would drive that poor little bird crazy. 
but Vicks does heal, but don't use it on your birds. Um, Vaseline would have been all right, and bag balm was fine, And but now I've got the blue coat. Okay, that's it. I guess we're done for today. I hope you enjoyed your day. We had sunshine. Oh, wait, before I go, before I go, my grandkids were here, and um, they were looking at yearbooks, and the one was saying about how funny our haircuts were. <laughs> The funny part is she's got the haircut that they had in the, I think it was in 1977 or 78 or somewhere in there. She's got the same haircut that they had back then and she thought our haircuts were funny. What's come around is, what's gone around is coming back around and so, and so she's got that. And it was a, it was a boy that had that haircut and there was a girl that had that haircut. So it's a non-gender haircut, I guess is what it would be. And I also put some film into one of my cameras because I've got all that film that I've got to use up. Otherwise it just sits there and just sits there. So I'm going to use it up. And so I had them go outside and I said, can you take a picture of me? And so I kind of posed. <laughs> and they said, how do you do it? And I said, you look through the little viewfinder, make sure I'm in that little box and then click and now you wind and they go wind I go yeah now you have to wind it and so um, I had them take two pictures of me and then I said now you stand there and let me take your picture and so I took two pictures of them and then I had another one of my granddaughters come out and we did the same thing again and had her take two pictures of me and I took two pictures of her so this will be interesting to see and I took pictures she goes why don't you take pictures of the chickens I go I already did and I asked Jim earlier, I said, can you be my subject? You know, when I was growing up, my sisters and the pets were all my subjects. And he says, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. Okay, well, that's it now, it's for sure. So we'll talk to you again tomorrow. You have a great day. Bye-bye.